Hello, my name is Kenneth Perry, and I am your technology enthusiast. Welcome to my YouTube channel, K Perry Global. Today, we're going to talk about Cortana and how you can utilize Cortana to be your personal assistant using Cortana enabled devices. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button, comments, keep the feedback coming, right? And then don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. That's right, K Perry Global YouTube channel. Hit that button. When using Cortana, you want to make sure that you have a Cortana enabled device. And we talked about in part three, uh, how to use Cortana using your smartphone or mobile devices. Next, we're going to talk about how to use Cortana with Cortana enabled device, Microsoft Invoke or the Surface headphones. In order to connect your devices to Cortana, you have to ensure that Cortana is connected to certain accounts. So when I click on the Cortana logo and select the notebook, I have organizer and manage skills. Now today we're going to focus on manage skills. When I left click on manage skills, I have connections, productivity, and then also stay up to date, which we covered that in Cortana part two. What I want to focus on right now is managing accounts. When I click on managing accounts, you have the outlook, Skype, Spotify, LinkedIn, Office 365 for those people who have work accounts, and then Gmail. If you have a Gmail account or Google account, you can access your calendar using their Cortana application. The cool thing about using Outlook is Cortana will give you the ability to gain access to your calendar, emails, reminders, lists, and tasks. So you can ask Cortana, hey Cortana, check my emails and she'll check your emails for you or hey Cortana what reminders do I have today and she will let you know what reminders that you have for the day in order for Cortana to work properly or you to get the most out of Cortana I recommend connecting to these accounts we're going to go into some commands that you can use with Cortana in order to do so in order to gain access to Cortana on your devices you must ensure that you're signed in using your Microsoft account. This is your Microsoft Invoke right here. The Invoke it roughly came out two years ago. And I use the Invoke on a regular basis, right? Anytime I want uh, information, I want the weather, I want to know what's next on, the, on my schedule, I can simply ask uh, Cortana to do so. So I'm going to activate Cortana here by saying, hey, Cortana. Well, I need an umbrella for Detroit, Michigan. That's probably not necessary. The forecast shows partly sunny skies in Detroit with a high of 75 and a low of 60. I can also ask Cortana questions like, how tall is the Empire State Building? According to wikipedia.org, architecture, the height of the Empire State Building to its 102nd floor is 1,250 feet 381 m 1,453 feet 8 9 16 inches 443 0 92 and including its 203 feet 61 9 m pinnacle the building has 85 stories of commercial and office space <laughs> representing a total of 2158 uh, that was a lot of information right there. That was a ton of, I didn't even ask you all that, but thank you for the information. Wow. Okay, Cortana. So who won best, hey Cortana, who won best picture last year? The Shape of Water won the 2018 Academy Award for best picture. Hey Cortana, can you tell me a joke? I wondered why the baseball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cortana, can you play the Bee Gees for me? All right. And now, songs by Bee Gees on Spotify. So you can play your favorite song, right? You can also decrease the volume. Hey, Cortana, decrease the volume by 15%. Okay. Hey Cortana, pause. Hey Cortana, play. You can also go to the next song by simply saying, Hey Cortana, play the next song. Hey 
and if you want to change the pace, you can say, hey, Cortana, play Michael Jackson, beat it. All right. And now, beat it. Single version by Michael Jackson on Spotify. Yeah. I didn't have to lift a finger. I'm here talking to you right now, and I'm just, you know, giving her voice information. And... Okay, hey Cortana, pause. So what I'm simply trying to say here is that Cortana is truly that personal assistant that's going to give you the ability to access information by just using your voice. That's simply what I'm saying. Hey Cortana, who was the first president of the United States of America? George Washington was the first president of the United States. Hey Cortana, What's the definition of nucleus? Nucleus can mean a few things. One, the central and most important part of an object, movement, or group, forming the basis for its activity and growth. Thank you for watching Cortana part four. I had a blast. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. Make sure that you comment, right? Leave us feedback on how we can improve and make things better for you. And don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a good one.